just couldn't be more happy for our guys. Um, obviously, we've been through a lot. Uh, we've lost some heartbreakers, and I, uh, we got one back tonight. Uh, I thought we were pretty good offensively in the first half. Obviously, it helps to make shots when you shoot 60-some percent, but we, we read their defense and, and did the right, made the right plays. Um, you know, and then the second half went a little bit haywire a few times, allowed them to, um, you know, get the, get the run, get some transition. We didn't do a very good job stopping that one play, and we went over and over. But, um, you know, they, they got, got it to the lane and got, you know, made some big shots and grabbed the lead. But big plays down the stretch, especially on the defensive end. And that, you know, you go back to the close games we've lost. We didn't get the stops at the right time and had five stops to stop the start to finish the first half. And we had stops to finish the game. And, and obviously just uh, Nigel had missed four in a row, um, but he shot that thing with a lot of confidence. He still disappointed the Kansas game that he didn't get that one to go, but this one, you know, went down and gave us a huge win to take a step up. And like I said in the press conference the other day, the Zoom, you know, we find a way to win. We can be in, you know, up in the top of the part of the league, the sixth in the league and tied. So a lot of games left, a lot of things can, ha you know, it can happen, but we just, all we can worry about is one at a time. And I thought the other guys gave us a boost. You know, I, I kind of have challenged Mike McGurl, you know, to, to be engaged and give us something. 10 rebounds, four assists, no turnovers, just had some big plays when it counted. Um, Davion to give us a little something. We haven't got much out of the big guys. And you know, if he makes one more of those to lob or, you know, one of those layups in the first half, he has a huge game. And then Mark Smith's played really well on the road, if you look at his numbers, but he hasn't played as well. And I, I kept telling him today uh, that we're at we're on the road. You know, just think you're on the road. And and he kind of laughed and stuff, but uh, you know, big time effort for him, 19 and and eight and you know, just a, a good team win for our guys. And, you know, they, I don't know, what a game back and forth. Obviously, a, a, what is 11 lead changes, nine ties and uh, big swings. And we, we always do the wars, the four minute wars. And we'd win one, they'd win one. We'd win one, they'd win one. And uh, we, we were able to get the last one. And that, that's the difference in the game. Uh, Bruce, I'm sure that last play went a little differently than you drew it up. Uh, what what was the plan there? Well, it was, we ran it in a, big, or a few plays earlier. Or, uh, I don't know, a lot of bounce plays earlier. And actually, Nigel had a good look. They got screwed up. We had some kind of action going where you hope they screwed up on switches. Uh, but they switched out with the big guy. So, uh, Marquise, I, I was just about to call timeout. Um, and Marquise bumped it back, you know, to Nigel and – they had the switch and, and, you know, he had great poise this time and, and made, made a big shot, you know, players make you a good coaches that, you know, it's, you can draw up great plays, but uh, if they jump up and make shots and make plays it obviously it helps. And just how much did having a game like that from Davion give everybody a boost? I think, you know, there's no doubt, it, you know, even if you go back to some of our other games that, you know, we, we won games with, against top 20 teams where we didn't get much out of our bigs. And, you know, you think about that, it's just kind of amazing. Um, but for him, you know, he finally got in practice for two days, um, you know, got to look going up and down. Uh, you know, I've constantly told him we need him. We need you well. And um, obviously just to, he gave us a little boost of energy. There's no doubt about that. You know, the crazy thing with Mark is, you know, he got his bell rung in that uh, Mississippi game. And he couldn't practice for, you know, until, you know, until today, which, you know, he did shooting and stuff like that. But um, we weren't even sure we were going to have him until he got totally cleared. So I, obviously it, it makes a big difference in our game. Coach Mike Marquise and uh, Nigel all played a significant amount of minutes tonight. Was that just kind of because they were on and you needed them or was is this kind of going to be the plan? I mean, the guys you depend on. Um, you know, they, they, you know, look at them, Isaac's 36 and, you know, Rodell's 34. Um, you know, you, you, you guys, you trust that are playing well. Um, you know, we, that's, we had to go with them. And, uh, you know, I thought Luke, 
Luke gave us a little boost again in the first half. Uh, you know, it just, you know, Ish, you know, gave us, you know, made a shot. I'd love him to get a little hot for us. Him and be nice if him and Marquise get a little hot here down the stretch. Give us, uh, obviously, it would be a nice little boost. But um, those guys, uh, you know, they, they wanted to be the guys and we rotated enough to keep them, keep them uh, rested. To, so they had some energy down the stretch. And you guys came out and played a little bit of zone defense in the second half. What was the mindset behind that? Just, uh, you know, we, I don't know if you, we played a little bit of it uh, when we had the six, seven guys and some of those games we had no choice. And uh, we talked about it before, just if they started getting in a rhythm, they were running that one play and we didn't have a very good job. We just wanted to get them out of rhythm. And, uh, you know, it, it, it worked a possession or two, uh, you know, and then, then we got back and, you know, I guess breaks up their rhythm at that point. Uh, you'd you'd made uh, paint get, getting paint touches a priority. I think thirty in the paint. You had yeah. sixteen at halftime. How big was that? You know, it it's huge. When you looked at obviously the Miss, Mississippi game, what was it, thirty two to fourteen or something like that? They outscored us. And you know, the crazy thing, I we track how many times we get in the paint. And I thought after the Mississippi game that we wouldn't have gotten a paint. You know, it would be had to be one of our lowest of the year. But actually, it was the seventh out of our number of times we got in the paint. We just didn't finish, and we didn't make uh, we didn't make shots once we got in the paint. Um, so, but you know, be able to get there, and that this team might be better shot blockers and longer at, at certain positions than even Mississippi. And but we were able to get there and, and make enough plays that uh, you know to make a difference in the game. You talked about defense, one that where you actually didn't get the steal, but you tied them up with about 40 seconds left. How big was that? That ended up getting you the possession. At possession, the huge, uh, you know, huge play. We, you know, even, you know, we had the intentional foul that gave them the little run and we're fortunate to have a, and Mark making the two free throws and we get, you know, allows us to kind of get back in. I think they were up five at that time, maybe. So the, you know, again, the swings, uh, the little plays, the, uh, you know, make a, make a huge difference. Actually, Marquise got a jump ball right before that, right? That, so now that allowed us to get the arrow. So, you know, make a big difference in the game. Yeah. Yep. Mark Smith struggled at the free throw line for some stretches this season and he hits five of six tonight. How key is that for you? It, it's huge because obviously we, there's some games we might've won if he would have been better. Uh, we put a lot of time in with him. Uh, I even filmed with my phone. They all love their phones. And I, I filmed them uh, with the phone just so you could see it. He, a little hitch in there. He's been a great, he's a good shooter. And he's, uh, you know, he's a, been a really good free throw shooter. If you look at his history and he just gotten a little funk, but, uh, you know, big time tonight. And those two with no one on the line are, were huge for us. And I just start seven of seven, of course, it's the game winner. Is yeah, you know, and he had this four in a row, I think, before the game winner. And one of them, he's wide open in front of me. And he said, you know, said, like, damn, coach, I'm sorry. You know, like, uh, you know, and he just missed it, you know. And, and but I, th I thought he had great poise on that last one. And when he released it, I thought it was good. But, um, you know, I, I thought Marquises was good, the one before, and it went in and out. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. Like I said, I think he's still – Feels like that Kansas one, he, you know, maybe another dribble, maybe a little, get a little further in to give him a shot. But uh, this was a huge one for him tonight. Coach, I wanted to ask about the 10 second viol backcourt violation right before the uh, under four media timeout. Just how big was that? Big, I mean, big play. You know, obviously that gave us, uh, you know, gave us the ball back. Um, you know, get, again, keep them from another possession on the offensive end and, there were a lot of, I'm sure you can go back. I don't remember all you, you talk about the jump ball, the 10 second, you know, ball get knocked out of bounds. All those, all those things make a difference. Even, uh, you know, we had, you know, we had a great defensive possession and then the ball went out of bounds. They got it with nine seconds left. So um, we did a lot of good, you know, we fought and, and, you know, I kept talking in the huddle. We've been here before. We haven't got the st stops at the right time. We haven't broke, you know, we've broken down. We haven't got the rebounds to us the little hustle plays, not only Nigel 22, but he led us on play hard with 10. So that, and, and then Mike McGurl with 10 rebounds. Those are, you know, all those little plays give you a chance. 
seemed dialed in at the start of the game with everybody giving you a little bit of something? Do you feel like mentally they were a bit more engaged than they had been the last two? Uh, I, you know, I, Baylor, we, I told you we lost our spirit. I thought Mississippi, if you go back and watch it, we just didn't make shots. We were pretty good on defense and they were a pretty good team. They just went to LSU and won. So, um, you know, I, I didn't think it was bad. Obviously when you make shots, you feel better about yourself. Uh, you know, but they, I, I just said, come with passion tonight. And I, I read the definition of what passion was. I said, when everyone leaves this arena, guys, I don't care if you win or lose, but they feel you played, you played the game the right way with passion. And, and we've got a little thing. They started at one more, make that next pass and, and, you know, get one more swing. Uh, Cause that, you know, and when we do that, we're, we're a pretty good team. Get in that paint, kick it, make one more swing pass. That one more, I think, is really, really important. Bruce, there's obviously uh, many D1 transfers around now. I'm just curious. Could you make a case, maybe an argument for Mark Smith maybe being newcomer of the year? <laughs> well, that I don't know. You have to kid at Iowa state's pretty good. Uh, you know, there's a bunch. I mean, our league is full of them. The kid at, uh, uh, Texas tech Williams. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a bunch, but you know, he's definitely got to be in that top group and you know, no double, double today, but pretty close again. Um, now he's just, he's, I think his biggest thing, if you follow his career, just consistency. Now let's see if we're going to have any chance to make a run here. He's got to be consistent and that'll be important. Thank you, sir. But he's got to, you know, he's got to be up in that top five. I mean, there's some pretty good players. And, you know, even Marquise, you know, other than, you know, he's had a couple drop-offs, but he's had some pretty good games too. Oh, it's got, you know, it's got to be up there. Again, you want to get any, and I always tell them, you want to get any accolades, you got to win. So we got to, you know, if you want any, any acknowledgement, gain any respect, you got to win and, and continue doing that as we move forward. Going back to that final possession, you chewed up about 10, 15 seconds before the, uh, the jump ball. Is that kind of your philosophy to just try to shorten the game or is there any thought to, you know, just go run your offense? I, I you know, it was going to be a six, seven second difference. And, uh, you know, less time they had, I thought was better uh, for us. Uh, obviously it worked this time. Um, I just didn't want to shoot it early and then they have the last shot. And, and have 20 seconds. I uh, wanted to make sure we had a chance to, you know, get it where, you know, it was, it was as close to the horn as possible. Even, I guess, the last one, I even told the coaches, if Nigel gets a good look right away out of the timeout in the corner, if they, like he did earlier, they're still going to have a chance to, you know, but it almost helped us that it went back. Now Nigel, you know, whittles the clock down and, and if you really think about it, pretty much the same shot he had against Kansas. Yeah, you talked about some heartbreaking losses, not probably other than Kansas, none more than that, uh, the TCU game yes. the first time around. So now going down there, is that something you bring up or? Uh, I mean, I said it, it after the game. I mean, you know, they, they two years in a row, they beat us here, one on a tip in and one on a three. And last year we were able to go back and have pretty good focus and found a way to beat them down the stretch, um, you know, they're playing, I mean, they beat LSU. They, they they just went to Oklahoma, Iowa state and kick butt. I mean, they're playing well, they're playing with a lot of confidence. They play with great energy. Um, their, their wings are really good. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something I worry about a little bit, just, you know, without Selton that when you talk about minutes and, you know, we're going to have to, they rebound well, they play with great energy. We're going to have to be locked in and we're going to have to get, Guys getting, you know, extra rebounds to make a difference in the game. Is there any extra motivation, you think? Because I, that, I just, it's a big game. They beat us. It's a big game. You, you can, I don't know exact record. They haven't played two games, so that we have played. But, um, you know, I maybe we could have as many wins as they if we found a way to win that thing. And, I mean, that's pretty much motivation. If we're going to have any chance, we got to get up in that top half of the league. Sadly, we probably should be there, but we're, we're not. And we got to find a way to get there. Coach, do you want to explain to the media about the rep that went out? Like, yeah, I did. I asked about it. They they said he has, was um, lightheaded a little bit. Um, Larry Spaulding, I've known him, I've known him for a long time, and started in the Valley when I was there. Um, 
you know, good guy, really good first, you know, good ref. Um, you know, I, I kind of teased him even during the game, how skinny he is. He, he, he's lost, you know, he lost weight, looks good. Um, and, you know, they, I didn't understand what's going on because they kept saying we need a trainer, we need a trainer. Uh, but they did take him, um, I think, to the hospital to get across the street just to get checked up. Uh, hopefully he's, he's okay. Uh, good man, good, you know, done it for a long time. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate. You, you got Doug and, and Mike, um, two veteran refs that, you know, they, they probably old enough to ref with two guys and maybe not, I don't think so, but, but they, you know, they were able to handle the game and, and, uh, you know, obviously we're happy because at the end it, it goes our way, but, uh, you know, you couldn't be more, you know, if you got two refs at the end, those are two good ones that, can handle the game and have the poise to, uh, to finish the game the right way. I just, you know, again, I hope, you know, for Larry's sake, hope, hope he's all right. Cause uh, they are an important part of our game. There's no doubt about it. It, you know, we all get mad at him, but if we didn't have them, uh, the game wouldn't be played the right way. So, uh, you know, I, I get frustrated, you know, we all get frustrated, but we, ha we do have really good officials in our league and, um, I'm not just saying that, and I've complained about them, but you know we're we're very fortunate uh, the group we have, and we got veteran guys and Final Four guys, and um, you know hope Larry's okay. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.